I remember the first time I saw her. Early one morning, early enough to see the snake in line the construction workers, arriving on site. Happened hair glistened among them. Some rushed past, others slowed or stopped to talk. I couldn't help but watch. Stratford was all in you of London. Every day new hoarding panels and new cranes come into view. I used to count them, but could no longer keep up. But then she appeared, just over the road. And she appeared at the building side down the road. And in another beyond that. And soon it seemed like she was part of that city yet to be. She would stay and speak and share a gift with those who had stopped. From my window I couldn't quite make it out. I often pass her bus often near hoardings, then in Atlas village, even across the canal in the week. But I only met her once. I remember waiting by Stratford International. The winter was cold and sloppy. By the bus stop with the letter E, I was envious of those behind the glass in the warmth, when I suddenly smelt a light rose perfume near me. She was shuffling a deck of cards, with someone else waiting for the bus. He smiled as she told him she was a different kind of traveller, not a commuter, but from the future. Her cards looked like tarot, but different. I had to wait. As the man took his bus, I realized she was staring at me. Without asking, she started to explain her cards. She called them the Metropolis Arcana. One card represented the past, another the present, and the final the future. Doing so, she explained, opened a wrinkle in time to see not the future of lives, but cities. Then she paused. I felt myself flattered to hear what the man who had just left had predicted, so I kept staring at her and I waited for my companion to continue the story. She opened her bag with a star tarot symbol on top. Accurately, she picked one card which was different from the other deck. I glanced at the package with the title East Arcana on the cover. Then the pink-haired time-traveller read aloud a story about the man who arrived on the dealer train and of the area in the window. He noticed many social houses during his trip and had a sort of nostalgia about his childhood in one of them. I was curious to know about other stories. So my companion continued to talk about the places she explored in East London. The East Village story was about the man who worked and lived in this area. He shared memories about his childhood and the site before the Olympics in 2012. According to him, there was an industrial area and caravan tents near the canal. The place of conversation was nearby the field under construction. So the man explained to my new magical friend that there will be two high apartment buildings, which will block the park view for social housing residents across the road. My new friend stopped again. She looked at me to check if I'm still interested. I tried to send her a telepathic signal that I wish to keep listening to these stories from East London.
The next story was about the ghost in the Draper's Field Recreation Ground. Two women who worked there also shared their worries about the new walking hours and refurbishment works in the park. Another story was told by a cleaning lady from the Hearist, who usually arrived through the Stratford station every day. I remember a busy square in front of the bus stop station. The area was full of crowds of people. The story depicted a religious performance near Stratford shopping mall. They proclaimed about the power of Jesus and that the higher justice will judge our souls during the second appearance of Messiah. Another story kept us moving through the street of Old Stratford. The story from the local librarian who described innovative methods of using the library space for yoga classes and dancing. We continue to travel through time and space together with my magical companion around the district. East Arcana stories became portals for us in which we jumped from one to another. She continued to pick cards from the deck and navigate our voyage with voices from the people she met there. Time was flying back quickly and I realized that there was one last card left in her hands. It had a title of Queen of Pentacles in the bottom of the image. And this anecdote by the shop assistant transferred us to the Maryland station. The story described a visit of Her Majesty the Queen to the area nearly 20 years ago, before she arrived. All shops with the word royal or kings were obliged to change their signages two days before the event. I was a bit skeptical, but she trusted him. My companion finished. We returned to the familiar bus stop with the letter E on top. Her pink hair continued to twinkle in the sun. For the next few minutes, we stayed silent and watched the buses and cars passing by. I heard multiple stories from many places. The method of the city tower looks inviting, so I wish to participate and share a story about my journey with that mysterious stranger. She looked at me and waited. Her hands shuffled the Metropolis Arcana deck slowly and elegantly. Just like the man who predicted the future before me, I chose three cards from the deck. The Death, which represents a transformation of the area. The Fool, which brings risks and adventures. And the Future, the Star card, which gives hope for all happiness on the site. The mystery illustration on the Metropolis Arcanid parts caught my attention. They looked alluring. The moment I wanted to ask my friend about one of the details, I realized that she disappeared, and in her place I saw the card with my story and a drawing of it. It was a story about my miraculous adventure with Annabelle in East London.